Oh, you got that. Okay, go ahead. Muy buenos días y gracias por estarnos acompañando aquí en KUHS de Verdad y Televisión. Y estamos en Canciones de Domingo con un, uh, un amigo de la casa que se lo voy a presentar ahorita. Uh, primero les quiero decir, uh, o les quiero dar las condolencias a la familia de Ernestine, uh, que es una cantante de Nuevo México que acaba de perder la vida hace unos días, uh, Ernestine Romero. Y, este, y pues ella se ha ganado muchos... Uh, Uh, muchos trofeos y muchos uh, reconocimientos por su música este ella cantaba y también se supone que iba a estar aquí en bueno en Las Vegas en los uh, premios de Nuevo México así que uh, le deseamos este a la familia muchas fuerzas y este mucha mucha fe para seguir adelante uh, estaba muy jovencita creo que tenía 32 años así que Uh, les mandamos nuestras condolencias a toda la familia y a toda a todo el mundo de, del espectáculo también en Nuevo México, así como a todos los que han venido aquí a Denver, uh, como Sangre Joven, 45 y todos ellos que también la conocían y estaban muy cercanos a ella, así que uh, nuestras condolencias a toda la familia. Uh, thank you so much for being here in Canciones Domingo, KUHS and Denver Radio TV Station. And we have a special guest here in the studio that I'm going to introduce you in a little bit. I'm just going to talk a little bit about Ernestine Romero, that she uh, lost her life a couple of days ago, unfortunately. Uh, and um, it was very uh, tragic incident for the industry, uh, especially that in Mexico, you know, um, music. It, it's been, she was like a big star, and she's supposed to be actually at the Santa Fe Award in Vegas, uh, I think it's here very soon, I think it's like uh, next month. Um, so she's like an award winner. Uh, there she is here in the back. And she was very talented. I think she just had turned 32 years old. So she was very young and, you know, she left us. But uh, we're always going to remember her. As you can see, she always was singing and performing and just a great person overall. But what I have heard about people that have worked with her, um, especially, you know, that we have, I think my page on Facebook is like full of stuff about her because we have so many uh, people from New Mexico that, that are here. Uh, they come to Denver uh, to do special events and stuff like that. And uh, a little bit later, like she was like doing that right there when she was, you know, dancing and singing. But our condolences to the whole family and the whole industry, you know, like I know what did they think of, um, uh, the group, what did they think of, what did they it's just kind of hard to say, 40 think okay. 40 think uh, you know, they're all very close to her, same as uh, Daniel from San Gekhoven, and um, just many, many friends, you know, that they're going to be missing her. And, you know, um, if you want to know more about her, just go ahead and check her out. She has a lot of stuff. There she is. That's how she looked this last couple of days. So, and remember, you know, domestic violence is really... Um, big thing right now. So if you need any help, there's tons of help online. So make sure that you go and check it out if you need any help before something like this happens again. So, um, anyways, also another thing, uh, there's, uh, there's supposed to be some stuff going on with the ICE agency. So make sure if you need any help, uh, to go online and check out how you can defend yourself and, uh, to know your rights. So asegúrense que, uh, sepan ustedes sus, um, derechos acerca de la, de la migra, inmigración que ahorita me parece que van a tener unas redadas. Así que, si necesitan más información, nada más vayan en línea y asegúrense, a uh, que sepan qué hacer si les llega a pasar algo a ustedes, cómo defenderse. Así que, ya, lo pasamos ahora sí con nuestro invitado, Gino Rael, from the Mighty Nice Band. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, good morning to you. Yeah, but, Thank you for being here, especially like on Sunday. I don't know if Sunday is your day off in the morning, like I you don't get have up late. Days off. No. <laughs> 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 well, 
Well, that's pretty nice. Uh, that you work every day. Um, it's like yeah. a blessing, right? It, it is a blessing. Yeah, I, I work uh, Monday through Thursday at a part-time job, of course, because I'm uh, disabled. But uh, with my band and then when my grandbaby come over, it, yeah, I'm busy. Yeah, all with the kids. Yeah, 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 definitely. And uh, so Gina's gonna be performing with the Mighty Nice Band at the Latino Festival that is coming up next Sunday, mm -hmm. July twentieth. Yeah. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. That's your presentation. Yeah. Three o'clock on stage. Yeah, and this is I, I think you've been on the three uh, Latino festivals, yes, right? Yes, every year we've been there. So, so tell us a little bit about it. Well, you know, it brings the community together, and uh, uh, it's it's a beautiful place to be. You know, you, you get everybody there, and uh, music is universal. So we we mix up our music uh, pretty much uh, for all genres. You know, um, we do the Indian, we do the Spanish, the Chicano, the the Latin, the Latin stuff that we we do, and uh, we have to do it for all audiences. Yeah, because I know that uh, actually last year there was a, a lot of people. Um, that assisted that were not, you know, Latinos. And that's what we want um, everybody to know, that it's not just for Latinos, it's actually for everybody. Everyone. So we have all kinds of music. Um, and I said, oh, we have all kinds of music. Because I'm going to be, you know, uh -huh. on one of the stations this year. I'm going to be at the karaoke stage. So make sure that you stop by and sing a little bit. I'm not going to sing. Maybe. 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 <laughs> not I'm thinking. I don't know if they're going to make me, but... Uh, as far as I know, I'm not going to say that I'm going to be there, so uh, you guys can stop by. And, and I heard there's so much stuff going on. They have so many plans for this uh, festival. As far as, like, you know, they're going to have the lowriders. They're oh, yeah. going to have uh, the artists actually painting their own site. So they're going to have, like, a canvas, and they're going to be doing their, their paintings in there. So oh, everybody can interact with them. Uh, there's going to be a lot of food. A lot of food. A lot yeah. of food and drinks. I don't know if you drink beer or not, but you know, there's, <laughs> there's gonna be drinks over there and uh, there's gonna be so much entertainment. Uh, there's gonna be, um, uh, what do you call the uh, dancers? You know, they're gonna have the folklorical, you know, groups and stuff like that. And I've been looking at some of the things that are gonna be presenting their, their show there and nice, it's nice. very, very nice. So, so I'm excited. Just, you know, less than a week. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. Six days away. Yeah. Pretty quick. Yes. And and you work uh did you play during the week as well? Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, this week's been pretty good. The uh Thursday uh, we were doing the Federal Heights um social event there. And that's run by the you know, Federal Heights uh committee which includes the different police officers or uh, the police officers from the Federal Heights and then uh of course the fire department. Oh, nice, nice. So what they do is they help the kids, they feed the people, and they, uh, no donation to give them, they, they give away bikes, uh, food, and of course they can be entertained. And yeah. that's where they are king there for six years. So we've been doing it for quite a while. So yeah, uh, this, this, um, what's it called, a show or event, uh, has been there for six years, so you've just been doing it for six years. Well, it's, it's been the six years. We started it and we're still oh. on it. Yeah, so. And then last night, or let's say Friday night, we were in uh, the Kono. We did an event down at Jerry B's. And then last night we were at the Angle. So, yeah, we did the Wow. Yeah. So All that worked. is really good. <laughs> and especially because, you know, like you said, you have uh, drag here, so you had to keep up being active. And that helps you oh, out yeah. and playing. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand how much work it is uh, to sing. I mean, it is work, too. Like, you know, you have to be in shape and you have to be... Um, it, it, it takes rehearsal, course, right? Yeah. We rehearse every week as well. Every week, you know, so, you know, I was thinking about how many songs, how many songs you know, actually sing um, during a week. Well, this week, I counted 72 times I was looking at saying this week. That's wow, a lot of singing. That is a lot, a lot of singing. Of, a lot of songs. And I know, though, that... um a lot of singers, you know, they said they don't sing with, uh, you know, like this part of your body because it hurts. It says that you have to sing from, you know, the esophagus. Mm -hmm. Um, but it still hurts. Yeah, you know, and, I you, mean, you get raspy. <laughs> yeah, you get raspy, you know, but, you know, like last night I probably sang maybe, was it 20, 28 songs last night. 
Wow. And you know, that, that's that's a lot of songs, you know, but I'm also doing uh lead vocals and then I'm selling out the scene I'm doing back in the vocal so I mean, Oh wow. Um, but I drink water or I drink soda. That's it for me. No alcohol. No alcohol. Yeah. Well that you know, that's what I get in because sometimes uh that can not let you keep on going. You know, it depends on how much you drink. But at the same time, you know, it keeps you um, not drinking it. You know, it keeps you uh, really awake and alert for what you're doing. So, yes. And that's important. You know, sometimes when, if you hire somebody, you will like that person to actually be on the full set, which is, you know, to kind of be doing a good job. So. Mm -hmm. And you know what, the, the group of fellows that we have, of course, we have one female on keyboard, Holly Mobus, and she's awesome. But uh, yeah, but we have Jerry, uh, uh, Audience and the drums and uh, bass guitar is very fully nod. And um, Farm, we have Greg Worthington and uh, Rich Martinez. And uh, let's see, who am I giving out? Okay, and then uh, our newest addition to the, the band is uh, Robert T. Baca. And uh, he's with us. And who am I giving out? I'm giving myself out. Yeah. So, so tell us a little bit about each member of the band. Yeah. Let's be Holly. Let's have with Holly. Well, Holly. Hello, Musical <laughs> genius. She degree in music. She's uh she can tell you every chord that you're missing. If you're missing a chord whether you're on bass, drum, guitar, vocals, she'll tell you. That is good. And she just got the ear for it. She's really talented. So yeah, she's she's great. How long she's been with the band? She's been uh, with me five years now. Five years. Yeah, five years and you keep going strong and you keep your duty. I think that's why she's keeping around. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. You know? So we all get along pretty well. But, I mean, the you time know? here, that takes a lot. You know, yes. it is hard to be working with somebody that you don't get along with, especially every single day of the week that you guys play. Yeah, we, we do play quite a bit. Uh, we, we do anywhere between uh, 100 and 250 shows per year. Wow. And then sometimes we'll do three shows in one day. Oh, so that. That's a lot of work. Yes. And talk about another member of the band. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jerry, uh, our drummer, he started with us you know, it's probably six months ago, I guess. But uh, such such a great influence because he comes in with a smiling face and uh, he gives me that rule that can't count room one. <laughs> but yeah, he's 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 a very special person. And, you know, it's uh, he keeps the beat going, and, and he's also a, a great vocalist. So oh, he helps me out on vocals. That is good. Yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna get a little bit of rest. Yeah, horn players. <laughs> yeah. Uh, trumpet player is uh, Richard Martinez. He plays trumpet and keyboard on the knees. He's been with us uh, off and on maybe four or five years, and uh, he's a uh, He's always there. He's always there. He does does good for himself and uh, never complains. He just wants to have fun and that's what he does. And then we have Great Worthington. Uh, everybody knows Great Worthington. Uh, he plays with a lot of bands and he's uh, sought after quite a bit. Out in New Orleans, he does all these showboats out there. But yeah, he's a great talent. He's wonderful. He will blow you away with his nose. And then let me see, who am I leaving out? Uh, Robert just, uh, stepped in, uh, just, uh, last night with his first show with us. Oh, wow. We, we changed, uh, guitar players, uh, sometimes you do that in this, in this field, but he knew all our material and he knows a lot more and bring it to the table. He's from, uh, out of New Mexico. Oh. Originally. Well, hello, and, uh, New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's, uh, we're very welcome and glad and happy that he's with us. So did he just move here or uh he's been living here in Denver? I think for he's a while. been living here in Denver for a while, but he goes back and back and forth. I think his uh family lives out there in San Bernardino. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you think is not so far? Like, you know, first I thought it was kind of far, but I, I think <laughs> I think the road is really nice. I mean I like it. It doesn't seem those hours, you know, I think six, seven hours that you're on the road, you know, because in New Mexico I think they don't they don't seem that long. No, you know what? It, it, it does it from uh, where I'm from. I'm from uh, the San Diego. Yeah. It's the oldest town in Colorado. And I was raised in a little, uh, little Spanish village, Indian Spanish village, in this diesel land called uh, Old San Cacho Viejo. San Cacho Viejo. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm from. And uh, 
Hello, Pamilya, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're here. But yeah, they, um, it's a very special place for me. And my dad was my biggest influence. I mean, I had a lot of people that I looked up to in the country music and stuff like that, and old Motown and stuff. Yes. But my dad, Alfonso, my dad, Alfonso, he was a person that influenced me more because you say that to me. Sing it again, son. Sing it again. Sing that song, son. Sing it again. And I, I've been singing since I was five years old. So, um, when you when you started singing, uh, were you playing any instruments at the same time? I've always been a vocalist. I've, oh, okay. I've always been a vocalist. I guess I never wanted to pick up a baby <laughs> because I was maybe uh, to the point where I didn't need to because everybody had guitars and stuff. I just sing along with them. Uh, I never got a chance to because I'm so busy. I'm mm-hmm. so busy right now. So. You know, I can play a little bit on the keyboards, you know, a little bit on the guitar, but nothing, nothing real. Don't throw me up on stage. I'll sing everything you want, but don't yeah, give me a guitar or anything else. That's just my instrument. Right? That's right. So when, uh, when you decided to go big into singing? Well, you know, there was a, uh, it's kind of crazy, but, uh, I've been doing a lot of shows in 1992. I was, uh, Approached by a gentleman to come out and do a show for them. I met her singing, you know, we were doing the party and uh, I came out and did a show and he signed me to a contract. And I said, there I was doing a contract with the art exhibit. Next thing you know, I'm on stage uh, performing with uh, Malo, Piedra, uh, El Chicano, uh, and she shows with uh, Gladys Knight from the Manhattan, Freddie Fender, the big Freddie Fender. Uh, we have to have a trip to get a show with, uh, with the local Diego up there. The show's here in Denver and in Pueblo with the little girl in La Familia. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, we did the 50th, uh, anniversary with, uh, Brinson Woods. So, yeah, we did a lot of shows. I've done a lot of shows. So, once you Three started, years. you haven't stopped. Uh, this, this, is, this is my, this is my life. My grandchildren, my family, my friends, my music. That's my life. And any of your kids or grandchildren um, are into this at all? Like they want to sing or they want to do music or? Oh, my little grandchildren are already starting to sing. My twenty-month-old uh, uh, granddaughter, she's starting to sing. She's starting to sing. She sings with me. And my grandson, Victor, he's starting to sing too. But now that I have some other uh, grandkids, children at nine and all. Oh, wow. Kids. Yeah, there's three or four of them. The, the girls, they they have to sing. Usually the girls are the ones that are more, uh, I guess, not so shy about it. I think boys are kind of more like, I'm going to wait a little bit, you know, yeah. I'm not going to be in front of people. But I think the girls, they're just good. Like, yeah, like three year old, uh, my three uh, year old grandson sings uh, that song. Bad boy, bad boy. Oh, what's wrong with you? I think he watches that show. Yeah, no, he just, I just started singing to him one day and he said, he likes it. He likes to put it on, so he likes it. So he loves it. He loves everything. He's into the kids' videos and the excavator and all that. He's, he's really into, uh, music. I can see that, but he's so, he, he's so cute. You know? yeah, <laughs> he's, especially he's so three year olds, as when they do stuff, you're like, what? They do that, you know, like, oh, how cute, you know. Yeah. And and they're always, you know, when they come down, they have my full attention. 100%. Yeah. They're always, Matter of fact, when I leave here, they get smaller. <laughs> you smaller. guys heard it? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's always nice because you're, um, it, since you play a lot, so you're out of the house a lot, and if you travel, then it's going to be more days without mm-hmm. seeing them. So it is good that you're, they're kids so we want, you know, so if you enjoy them, you give them quality time, you're good with yourself. Yes, you know, you're yes. not like, oh, I haven't seen them because I've been working a lot, but if you are fully there, then you're there. Right. That's the most important thing. Ever. You know, and I, and a lot of love came uh, from my mom. My mom, she said, she was, she taught us, you know, believe in God, trust in the Lord God. Mom, is there a heaven? Yes, son, there's, there's a heaven. But you know, my mom passed away six years ago, my dad, eleven years ago, oh, okay. and I think about them every day. But my mom and my dad. I get emotional. No, no, that's okay. I mean, it's 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 really hard. Um, I lost my grandma a couple of years ago, and my mom is not very hard. Not yeah. You don't get over it. You just kind of try to to live with it every yes. day, you know. Yeah. And 
But it's nice that you still remember them like if it was yesterday, you know, everything that they taught you. They're it's still yeah. there. My hands, did you hear the way I had my hands? That's I think of my mom. That's what she is. Yeah, I've been there. All my hands I've had. My mom always comes to my mind. She's always holding hands. Oh. Well, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, Very loving family. All my brothers and sisters are there. How many do you have? Home. I have three sisters, and I have four brothers, and eight of those, and I'm right in the middle, so I oh, wow. pick on me on this side. And <laughs> Well, that's really nice. Did I live here in Denver? Uh, yes, uh, they, uh, except for one lives out in Kula in New Mexico. Okay, okay. The rest of them are out uh, in Denver, and I'm out here in Northridge. And uh, my, uh, my family, uh, we're also close, but four of us, my sister Sandra, Ted, and Jerry, and myself, were born in Corozo, Colorado. Okay. Which is out in Sandy Valley. Maybe we were brought to San Jose where we were raised. And the other uh, siblings are uh, Wanda, Debbie, Alan, and Greg. We're all born here in Denver. Okay. But uh, we're all close. We're very close. Okay. And we're all, we all sing. We all sing. So do you guys day. sing together? Um, well, we like family yeah. events? Or, yeah. or have you taken them to do like a, a special show or something like that? Well, my brother Alan showed up last night at the uh, oh. takeover and uh, he sat in and did a couple of songs with us last night, so that was pretty cool. That is so nice. And my brother Jerry had sat in with us, and uh, my brother Ted sat in with me a couple of times. And we sat around the campfire and That's love nice. the guitars, and there we go. It's like, who can I play the guitar? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> so, uh, is any of them also in this business, or did they just do it for the fun of it? Yeah, they do it for the fun of it. Um, I think I'm the only one that really pursued it. You know, and they, uh, but they're, they do, they, they have functions and stuff. They go up and they sing and, um, we pull out the guitar and sing. We all sing and my sister sing, my mom, well, once in a while she would sing, my dad sing that I'm going to be alive. He had a, oh. and, be alive. and that, that was his music. That he would sing it to me and I would listen to my dad. And that's where I got my voice from. So did you dad. start singing in, in Spanish? Uh, you know what? I, I sing Spanish, but I'm, I'm not real fluent in it. You know, but I, I will Should sing we it. test them? Cuando caliente el sol aquí en la playa. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all your Spanish? I yeah. think you have more Spanish. Well, we do, uh, like, uh, la mucara, one la cubana, we do, uh, oh. the, uh, we do a lot of the, uh, you know, the classics. Like, yeah, yeah, and we do, like, cumbia de sol and, uh, um, music such as that, you know, we, uh, we do a lot of Santana. Oh, yeah, Santana, that was here in last week. Last week they were here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we do a lot of Kiera, we've opened up shows with Kiera, and we've done a lot of her songs, and uh, Malo, we do a lot of Malo. Yeah. So, you know, and back then, we do old school, so we play a little bit of this, that, and everything. We, yeah. We, well, I think, you know, when you were yeah. child, when, like that is, like, you gave more, more events. They hire you a little bit more, because, you know, they yes. wanna have, like, a, Different type of music because, like you said, you know that it, everybody likes different type of music. So, well, you can play everything. Yes, yes, and we do. Best. Just even at the uh, Westminster Latin Festival, we'll we'll mix it up. We'll mix it up and uh, we'll throw in a lot of good material. And, you know, we do get hired because of what we do. You know, it's uh, yeah. I mean, it seems that third time that you're gonna be there. You know, and they only try like this. Time, oh, fourth time. So this will be the four. Okay, so that means you're doing something good. Yes. I don't think they're, so. I mean, I know the people in charge of this event, and they're, they're pretty, you know, yeah. not, I don't want to say strict or, you know, or like, um, no, no, I mean, they, he, well, they, 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 <laughs> uh, they want everything to be good. Of they want to give a good show, so I know that you're doing pretty good in order to be there again for the first Yes, you know what? I want to say a thank you to uh, Mr. Luis Romero. He does all the, he brings all this talent in. And he's a uh, MC and then he produces all the show for Timothy Mile. I've been on that stage 19 years. Timothy Mile in Denver. Thank wow. you, Luis. Thank you, Timothy Mile, Veronica Barella, and Newstead. Thank you for giving the Mighty Nice Band the opportunity. And there, I can say, Give a lot of people a lot of places that we've done so many yes. shows. Yes. Up in Pueblo. I was um, looking at your website Wyoming. and you could see 
everything they have done, you go and scroll like pages, you know, of the stuff, the events that you had, have been on and, and, um, and there's so many of them. Yes. So uh, I was impressed. I was like, I'm not going to even try to memorize <laughs> all these places because there's tons. Yes. So is. all these years that you've been, you know, playing, you guys been doing so well. Thank you. And, and, um, and I know people love you guys because you guys go We love that Josh. You know, without them, it wouldn't be us. Exactly. Exactly. They're, they're the ones that feed us. And, you know, music is good for everybody. So when you get people out there dancing and, and enjoying themselves. And, you know, during some of our shows a lot, we will do a spiritual, we do spiritual songs. Oh, okay. We pray to Lord Jesus Christ every day. And we do that with our music. That is so nice because I know um, a lot of times, well, I don't know if you guys see it, but sometimes they do like a backstage uh, footage and most of the artists, you know, they do a pray before they go on stage. Yes, yes. So that's really good. I used to do when they went to the stage. Yeah, and you know what? We have live entertainment uh, here in Colorado and there's not one band that is above another band. Every band is equal. All the musicians are equal. We all... We all have to be together as a unit yeah. to be able to work together and be in love and peace and unity for that thing. Yeah, because that you can see it when it's not when it's not something that is um, in front of you know. Yes, you can feel yeah. the tension mm-hmm. when it's there. You can feel that there's something wrong. You know. Yeah, and you try and you, you try to um, you, you you don't really eliminate it. You just try to work around it. And then once you work around it, then you just go to a different, uh, um, beauty town. Everything's gonna be okay. You just give them, uh, some positive energy. Yes. Uh, and then if they don't, uh, want to get, uh, receive it. They don't want to receive it. <laughs> and they don't, don't want to receive it, then, then, you know, that's on them. But you know what? We, well, we'll pray for those yeah. that are less fortunate like that. So, yeah. Yeah, it's like you say, you know, it's like sometimes they're the ones that need more prayers. Yes, yes, yeah. Because they're the ones in more need. Yeah, you know, and you know, sometimes you know, you see people out there holding up a sign on the street corner and they're just with people. Yeah. Everybody has a story to tell, so yeah. uh, you know, just drop the house each other, you know, you can open the door for someone without wanting to have someone say thank you, you know, and just, that's how we were all brought up. Yeah, exactly. Open the door for your, for your wife and get in the car, and, you know, you open the door. There. <laughs> There's yeah. so many that they don't do it anymore, you yeah, know. Yeah, you just gotta be to loving to your, and elderly, take care of your elderly. Yes, yes. Please take care of them, and you know, and every time I see, I just feel more love towards the elderly for some reason. I, I always did, but it seems since my mom and dad passed away, and I see the elderly is just, you kind of see. I feel the, yeah, and I see a lot of my friends and their mom and their dads have passed, that's God really bless you, Mom. Yeah. It's just, it's, uh, it's a hurtful, it's hurtful. Yeah, so when you see, like, somebody like that, you kind of think about your parents and, and you're like, oh, I, I would did. like my mom to feel this, you know, so I'm gonna give this person, you know, whatever it is, like, they right. might, you know, love, or sometimes I just want to smile. That's all yeah, I want. Yeah, and that's you all you know. Say hello to somebody, uh, you can, you can say, have a beautiful day. Then it makes the person, you know, cause yeah. you know what the person's going through in life. Yeah. Know? That's one of the things, you know, judging people is not good. You know, <laughs> it, I, I don't like when people do that. Um, you know, because there's always something going on. Like you said, their story might be like crazy bad. Yeah. You know, and there's when people judge other people how they look and they're overweight or something like that. You don't know that person has a disease. And you know what? We're all guilty. Like I think that. we're all guilty of that. But, you know, you, you finally look at it and you say, well, you know, why would I even say something like that? And you can just come back and say, forgive me, God. Yeah. You know, for I have said something like that. So, you know, we're, we all have that, uh, thing in us that we will do things like that, but we, Realistically, we're trying to. If you catch up with that, like, okay, oh, wait a minute, I, you know, I should not be saying that, you know, like, I'm sorry. You right, know, when I say right, sorry to exactly. that person, like, I thought this of you, but I'm sorry, you know. But it is true, you know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, sicknesses out there that make you gain weight or the, the medication they have you yes, on, you know, or they yes. make you lose weight, you know, mm-hmm. it's not that like you're anorexic or bulimic, you know, that's what people right away, you know, are judging you by it. And, uh, 
And there's so many things, you know, so when you see an older person, you know, and, and they're like asking for money or food or something, you know, that doesn't mean that they didn't go somewhere else and try to get right. money and stuff, you know, it just sometimes that's how it is. Yeah, you know, you just, uh, just try to help people. Just, you know, and sometimes I feel bad, like, if I, if I don't have, like, a change or a dollar bill or whatever, and they're out there and I, and I feel bad because I pass on my keys. Yeah. Or I could have done something, you know, and sometimes I'll even tell you, I'll look in my pockets and I'll get deeper in my pockets and, and that's something. My ask, oh, okay, I'll just go around the dog. Me and my wife have done that a few times. Oh. All the way around the dog. <laughs> and, and give them yeah, like, and then we feel better. Them. Then yeah. we feel yeah. better. And regardless of what they do with the with it, it's it's on them. Yeah. But I'm not there to judge them. Yeah, them judge them. exactly. You know, like I uh, I know my sister just to give her lunch to somebody that was you know at right. that life cool. all the time, and she's like, well, I have no lunch again, you know. And and that was just her thing, you know. Yeah. And, and it was so funny because knowing that that person was gonna be there the next day, she wouldn't pack double lunch or anything, you know. I think. I don't know, she probably thought that one of these days, like, that person was going to be lucky enough to, to have a place over, I mean, I don't know, maybe not be yeah. asking for food anymore. But, you know, that's how it was. It was pretty, like, like, you know that, I like, could never be there again. It's like, but yeah, but, you know, it's like, I, I always think that maybe something good is going to happen to them. So. Mm-hmm. We always hope that something good is going to happen for those people, the less fortunate. You know, we, we always pray, I always pray for them. Yeah. You know, when I go to bed at night, I pray for the world. I pray for my family, I pray for the world. I, I don't know you, I'm going to pray for you. I yeah. pray for the people that are hurting. I, sometimes I'm watching TV and I get emotional if something happens. Yeah. I'm a very emotional person. Yeah. Never, well, you're an uh, artist. I'm not going to try right now, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but you're an artist, you know, and usually that tends to be very emotional. Like, I am super emotional too, you yes. know, and, uh, and people say like, oh, but you don't have to try this. That happens all the time, but still, it's, it's painful. You know, yeah, it's not something that we is. can do or anything. So, um, so now that you're into like that community and stuff like that, you do a lot of events, uh, for charity and things like that as well. I do, yes, yes. I did quite a few of those. We haven't done any that as, as of late, you know, but we do go out and do a lot of, uh, you know, benefits and fundraising to help people with, you know, maybe funeral costs or, oh, okay. uh, or just trying to help people in that, in that capacity. And, um, we have to help each other. Yeah. Especially because it's a lot of money and you don't want to be dealing you know. with that and this, you know, yeah. that's enough so, of the place. Yes, and if you can raise money to help the, uh, the people that in their time of need, that's the, you know, we, we love doing that. So we have to give of ourselves as well. Yeah. Don't yeah. always have to get paid yeah. through a performance, you know, yeah. you gotta do something from here. And we've done that quite a few times, so. And what is the best memory that you have of, uh, your career when you're happy to something to somebody. Uh just seeing someone smile and someone's gratitude when you when you do events like that. Because I think you get more out of uh, more satisfaction mm-hmm. out of doing the soul uh, and performing and helping people and you see and you see how their their faces light up and then you're you're helping them. And more that's personal. that's kinda of like the biggest thing for me yeah. is watching seeing people happy. If you can make people happy, you know, and then even yeah. if you're out there, yeah, and if you're out there and you're just playing and someone wants to do a song and they're out there, hey, can we do that? Like, well, I'll tell you what, we may not know that song, but we'll do something similar to it. But most of the time we know all the songs, so here we are. <laughs> singing, so. so many years, I mean, like, you, yeah, you pretty much yes. know everything they're going to ask you to play, right? Uh, pretty much. Pretty pretty much. much. Except for the, uh, the rap music, I don't do rap. <laughs> are you <laughs> sure? I don't try. <laughs> But so they ask you for a lot of Spanish music too? Or? Well, yeah, we do a lot of Spanish music. Uh, last night we did, uh, like I said, we, they wanted to hear some cumbias. We did some cumbias last night. And, uh, they wanted to hear some corridos. We did some corridos yeah, last night. Yeah. And then someone, they wanted to do, hey, can you guys do some uh, Motown? So we did some Motown. And, you know, we, we do uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, right, we do Love and Am, you know. Um, go into the Atlantic Star. We, we do all kinds of music. And, we do Stevie Dan and we do uh, Leonard Skinner and music like that as well. So we just love them everything. And what is the, are your best experience working with a uh, certain artist? Like if uh, you work with one of the nice or, you know, and then it's only like blew your mind out. Like, it's just that sometimes totally. I'm sitting there and I, and, and I hear something and I go, wow, 
Oh, wow, okay, okay. It sounds like, yeah, it's something I want to do. Just keep doing it and let's, uh, let's build it and let's get it going and, and that's what we do. So music always, uh, influences my heart. And I'm always thinking, I'm always thinking about, it. sometimes I dream and I'm on stage. I'm always dreaming. I'm on stage. <laughs> Was that a dream or was it true? Yeah, um, I see a purple background. I'm walking down on these bright white stairs and I'm got a microphone in my hand and really, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I I have uh, I I see that all the time in my in my dreams. You know, so I'm out there entertaining. I get to in my dreams as well. You know, but uh, yeah, music is it's it's what made me. I guess yeah. who I am. In fact, that's what makes you happy and... It does. It does make me very, very happy. It keeps yeah. you healthy, too. When you're happy, you're healthy. Yes, and I, and I try to live a clean life. I just, um, I, the worst thing of all. Pepsi. Stay away from Pepsi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi Cola. Get some. You know, it, it's kind of funny because sometimes, you know, with the addiction, because just drugs, alcohol, you know, things like that, but we never see it as the food. Yeah, it's which soda is pop running, for me. I think we have a big issue with people being addicted to food, and that's me too. So, and I yeah. just stopped drinking soda, so it is, it, it was hard, you yeah. know, but I did it, so actually it's been about a month and a half that I haven't And I'm not no bloody tissue by no means. I do have a dream. Once in a great while, but that's once in a great while. Yeah, well, I think it's always good to, uh, to do it not so often, you know. Yeah, you know, I'll have a, some wine or, you know, some sangria. Yeah. Now I am begging you on this one. But <laughs> that's, you know, I'm not much of a beer drinker. I don't fix that. I, don't, I mean, I'll drink it, but it doesn't fix it. It doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, give me a soda pop, I'll take that. It's like, can you just get a lie? Maybe they better come go. That's yours, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Where they call them, like, Arcuba? Yeah, what they call them, yeah. They're the salad with, uh, um, food. Yeah, so there was, yeah, there? just uh, a little bit of crown oil in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but then, you know, I, I don't do that I mean, last year. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, it's, uh, I don't do that much. Well, that's really good, because, like you said, you know, that's how you could be yourself, you know, in, in the spirit. Yeah. So, so yeah. that's, that's one of the things, you know, like when you go and you do things that they're to the, um, extreme, let's say, that's when stuff starts happening. You yes, know, with yes. your health and everything else, so make sure you do, you know, kind of control it a little bit. You know? Yeah. And, you know, sometimes you'll, I say, well, how can I make my, uh, vocally, what can I do to change it or what can I make it better? So I pick a book and I read books and I, and I oh. go to the internet and I, Find out what's bad for your vocals, what what not to eat, what not to take. Um, Can you talk about one thing that you should not have? Dairy products are bad for your vocals. I heard that before. Yes, milk, okay. cheese, uh, flan. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, ice cream. And, and that's uh, yeah, anything cold, anything cold infections and stuff like that, such as uh, uh, drinking. Soda pop, you know, mm-hmm. with Coke, you know, with ice, you know, and you're, that's bad for you. Anything that's cold. And all this is you. right before you want to sing, or you just gonna have them like? Well, I can't seem to keep away from the soda pop. So <laughs> I'll take a sip there, but I'll keep a, a glass with me, but that that's a hold me all night. Okay. It turns into water, so that's yeah, with the all the ice, yes, yes exactly. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. That's, Kind of just do it that way, so it yeah. helps me out more. And what is one thing that you should be drinking uh, for the book? Plenty of water. Lots, water. lots of water. Lots of water and, and honey. Oh, yeah. Honey will get for you. So, so I would just do that tea, like honey uh, with hot water, and that's what you Yeah, yeah that's it. And cheese good for your health anyway, but yeah, maybe for me it's uh, water and honey. Before I go to bed, I usually. So that's your routine. Honey jars from my life. Maybe for a little bit, I'll oh. take a sip of it. Oh, wow. So that relaxes and stays in my throat overnight. So that helps. Yeah, that's a good tip. So for any of you that like to sing, yeah. you know, there it is. <laughs> and what a special event do you have coming up besides uh, Latino Festival? Uh, well, we're going to be uh, the same day, uh, or that's, that night oh. we'll be at a Babes. Uh, so two things going on on Monday. Yeah, two and then, uh, 
We're doing uh, a lot of shows. Uh, guy, we have uh, weddings. We have oh. A wedding oh, yeah, boys' summer. So there's yeah. a lot of weddings in Vienna. Yeah. And what we're doing is a uh, bachelor party. Oh, wow. September. Uh, we're at the uh, Lonely TC Wine. We're going to be there uh, on the 2nd of August. And uh, we're at the. Uh, uh, we're at the. Uh, <laughs> I think of all these things, but we're at the birthday inn. Uh, we're doing the show out there, and we're going out in Gary Beach once again. Okay. Um, Wheels Bar and Grill, we're going to be there. Uh, all these weddings coming up, and we just got a lot on our plate. But you know, we we enjoy doing it, and we're out there. And, and of course, uh, guess who might get a hold of me? You go to the Mighty Nice Band <laughs> dot Gravesite dot com to get a hold. And um, do you take your family to this event? Like, if there's a lot of stuff going on, and, and you can, I mean, you cannot cancel on even when something comes up. So, do you just like come with me? Well, yeah. There's a there's sometimes uh, it's harder to get out because you know you have different situations and days are different for you know from yeah. one day to the next. But uh, yeah, my uh, my family comes out as much as they can. My wife comes out. I would say 95% of the time she's oh, there. Oh, that's pretty she's good. Good job. Yeah, yeah, she comes out and then, uh, my brother came out last night to hear me. My two other brothers come out. My sister, they all come out to hear me. You know, they don't come out as much as, uh, I wish they would, but they, uh, they have lives too. So, yes, but I, good. but I'm very grateful when they do come out because, uh, makes me happy. They all see them all in the way. And then I got my cousin, my primos, my primas. So, they come out, they, and they're they always just they're there for me and I I just love all my females and females. I just they're I adore all my family. They really adore my family. That is so nice, but also the band is your family. And my and the band is my family. Yeah. And how do you start um building the band or what what was in your head that you're like, Okay, this I really need to have my own band, not to be, you know, with anybody yeah. else, but I want my own band. Well, you know what, that that started uh over 25 years ago, and I uh, I decided, you know what, I instead of going out there and just singing here and there, I says, I could say, you know what, you, you gotta have some musicians to back you up, and you know, and I decided, well, maybe it's, maybe it's time to do that, you know, and I decided to go ahead and do that. So I've had so many guitar players, drummers, keyboard players, you know, everybody here, player, <laughs> you know, but I kept it going. Put the rotation going and, and everybody seems to be up to par. The band that I have right now, they're <laughs> awesome. Probably the most awesome band I've ever played with. And I, I'm not knocking anybody that's ever played with me before because everybody, everybody was our good musicians, all good musicians, but you know, you don't have to have the best musicians, but you gotta have the musicians that can get along and play and enjoy music and and that energy yes. that, yeah. you know, like kind of feeds you. Yes, you know, you have to, you have to work together. Everybody yeah. has to work together. And sometimes you have groups, nicks and flicks and uh, bands and stuff like that, you know, but you keep it going and you get the right quality of people together in the group. As long as you have a job. You know, um, like sometimes it seems like you have kids or teenagers, you know, working with you and it's like, come on, let's yeah. be adults. <laughs> Once you have adults, you know, you know that communication is the best thing when you're uh, working in a group. Right. right. There's no communication, there's going to be no, um, no teamwork. Right, right. It is hard to deal with somebody that does not have any communication skills. So. Like I said, like a few of your uh, band members that just go with the flow, but it's still good because they still like saying, okay, yeah, I'll do it. You know, they it's still yeah. have communication there. And my keyboard, my keyboard player, she's a perfectionist, and uh, she knows when something is not right, and and so tell us, hey, you know what? This goes here, this goes there. Drop this, uh, change that note there, and we want to make it as Clear and as clean as possible. And so, yeah, so we work, yeah, we, we do, and, and everybody has their say so. Everybody has, well, wait a minute, Holly, does it make go like, okay, you're right, Gino. Okay, yeah, you're right. He said, all right, all right. And, you know, but we all work together, you know, and, uh, it, it's, it's a tough industry, yeah, you know, but, is. you know, and you gotta remember, you, you have to drive to the gig. And before you drive to that gig, you have to load up your equipment. And it's a lot of work. Yeah, and then once you get there, you have to take off your equipment. 
You go into the building, set up, then you do a sound check, then you do your performance. After your performance, you go break down and go and do everything reverse and load it and download it. Yeah, and, and that's uh and if you're doing that hundred and sixty two uh times during a year or even hundred and twenty four times that we have been uh that's a lot uh-huh. of work. And then you're driving to and from and this is all the musician, you know, sometimes you can make some good really, really good money. There's sometimes you don't make the money that you wanna make, you know, but we do it because we love yeah, exactly. You know, we have a passion for it. And we have a passion for it, yeah. So, All right, yeah. Right. And uh, tell me about the name, the Mighty Nice Girl. Mighty, Mighty Nice Girl. Nice. We've got a few people together. We're sitting down. Man, you know what? If we get Gilded, we get Ernie in here, yeah, we're going to sound Mighty Nice. So the name's still oh, Mighty yeah. Nice. So I call it, I call it that Mighty Nice Girl. That's what we need. I was always wondering. Yeah, and that's how we, that's where the name of everything is going. And, you know, we, uh, uh, got the, we titled that Denver, Denver Bad City Boy. Yeah, I wish I messed up on one of the posts. I'm sorry. <laughs> I fixed it. But, but, uh, the governor, while the former governor was, uh, the uh, he, uh, he, he named that, that name, he gave it that name, oh. that moniker, back when we did an event for, uh, that said, Viso de la Raza. Okay. And our boss newspaper, yes, when they yes, had yes. their event, the 35th wedding, uh, 35th anniversary, and the boss, thank you, Pauline, for letting us in the tank again. She, um, and she's, she's very instrumental in doing what we do. She helps us a lot. And thank you, Pauline. But we went out there and then we went up to the stage and go, let's give it up to these Denver's best city boys. And they made sure. Ah. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. I was like, okay, well, there's, there's two. And then I was like, when I got it messed up, I'm like, Oh, shoot. So, like, I better go and fix it. Uh-oh. So, yeah. And, and, uh, I don't think anybody noticed it, but who was the one that noticed it? Oh, and my, uh, my you website administrator. Me. Oh, yeah. Terry, uh, Terry Valdez. Yeah, yes. she's the one. So, thank you, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yeah. you know, but, you know, we, we go out there and we do these shows and stuff like that. It's, it's such a, we have such a good time. It's, Thank you, Carrie, for doing what you do, too. That's a lot of work. Yes. I and mean, then I was looking at, like I said, on those names or, like, places where they're being and the stuff they have done. I just, it, her photo is right on the side. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I kept looking at her, like, yeah, she has a lot of work to yes. do with this. Thing. And thank you, Electric Entertainment, Michael Tellerico. Thank you. You've done a lot for us, too. I want to leave you out. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to translate some of this in Spanish. Um, okay, vamos. So vamos. Voy a hablar poquito. ¿Cómo puedo? Va a hablar mucho. <risa> pues les presento a Gino Rael. Él es el cantante, uh, usted es el, la, las primeras vocales del grupo My Nice Band, de aquí de, de Colorado. Y este, se presenta en muchísimos lugares. Este, tiene una, en, en su página de, del internet tiene infinidad de lugares donde se ha presentado, este, cosas que, que han ganado también. Y, Pueden ir ahí, son muchísimas. Pero estaba yo preguntándole a Gino, este, ¿qué, ¿qué fue lo que lo hizo hacer su banda? ¿Me puedes contestar en español? Poquito. Poquito. Ok. Entonces, dinos, ¿por qué decidiste hacer tu banda? Mi papá, digo, mi hijo, canta, canta, canta la canción, canta en español, y canta los cantos de nuestro español. Ese es tu. ¿Cómo dice la voz? Ajá, los vocales, la, sí. la voz. Canta siempre, canta siempre. Y haga pito, canta. Y este, ¿dónde, ¿dónde te vas a presentar ahora el 20 de julio? ¿Cómo? ¿Dónde vas a estar el 20 de julio? Oh, um, vamos a uh, el Westminster Latino Festival. Yo, yo creo que la calle es a uh, 68 y el Grove, yo creo. Creo que en la 72, en la en train station, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. Ya, yeah, en, la, en la estación del tren de Westminster, creo que en la 72 y algo así. Ah, pero la información está en las páginas de nosotros de Facebook, yeah. <laughs> porque mm-hmm. vamos a estar también. Y, y cuéntanos, Gino, este, ¿cuál es tu experiencia hasta ahorita estar cantando por tantos años? Like, what's, how have been your experience, you know, Gino, for so many years? Ah. Uh. 
it's been it's been a, a heck of a long time now. But you know what I um uh, the experience I get from the music is just um, being able to go out and do the shows is uh, a blessing in itself because I've always liked to perform. So you've seen Selena when she was a young kid. Yeah. She was small. Well, I was small like that at one time too. And <laughs> that's what I was doing. That oh. was it. But you know, during that time out in the, the valley, you didn't have the opportunity out there to kind of, you know, to do what you want to do because yeah, we're out there in San Luis, Colorado, yeah. San Paso. And, you know, what got out here to Colorado, I kept doing it. And uh, I think, uh, and I remember doing a show. It's uh, I'm going to kind of throw away my age here. <laughs> You're only 38. <laughs> 1965, uh, they had the floods here in Denver. Oh, yeah. And, uh, destroyed a lot of property and stuff like that. And, uh, we, I entertained my brother and I, and Jerry and myself, entertained for that, for the flood victims during that time. So that, how long ago was that? 1965. Yes, we've been quite a while. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's been a week. But that's been, you know, that's been over 50 years. You know, we were out there performing events and, I've always been a, a performer. If um, if somebody will come and say, well, if let's say God will come and say, if there's anything that you would like to change from your past about music? The music in anything? general? Yes. What would I change in music? I mean, in your career. Uh, if I could uh, change something in my career, it would be, uh, I don't know if I would change anything. It would be kind of hard to say I would change anything, but I would kind of like, um, Maybe having better equipment, if I had better equipment to, to see me yeah. first, or had, uh, the vacuum back when I was monster, uh, maybe I could have made it, uh, a lot bigger, you know, um, but I, I don't know, I just thank God for what I have. I'm, I'm blessed with what I have, and I don't need more, I just, just want and to keep on going. continuing. I don't want to continue doing what I'm doing. Yeah, and you know, that's, that's one of the questions I ask you, because a lot of people, you know, they do, they do ask, change something drastically. But I think if that wouldn't happen, you wouldn't be where you are right now. Yeah. And probably you wouldn't have the wife you have, the <laughs> kids, the grandkids you have, right. you know. And so things happen for a reason. Yes, you know, if I could change anything in this world, if someone asked me, if you had anything, if you change the world, what would you change? Well, I would make everybody children. Everybody would be children. We would have two people. Mother Teresa and Paul Paul. Oh yeah. John Paul. John Paul. And that you teach all the children I think we're gonna better work. Yes, yes. That that's true. You know, I was thinking maybe we're gonna say, Well you kind of said it, <laughs> we'll change the humans, you know. Yeah. Like become more humans, like we yeah. have appreciation about what what we have it and um and what we can have to, you know. Sometimes we kind of uh Get upset about not having something, but at the same time, it's like, we might not need it. You know, yeah. something that we just want, but we don't really need yeah, it. Yeah, you know, be thankful for what you have. You have a, a roof over your head. You have, you have your family. You have food on your table. Um, what do you need? Yeah, like we were looking at Ernest Steve Romero here in the book we wear. Thank you, Heather. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Sure. Ernest Steve Romero, you know, she, Celebrating her 20th anniversary oh, of music. I mean, it was, she was so young. Oh, but geez, there's, you know, young. one day we're here, the next day we're not, or the next second. It was so fast what happened with her. I mean, it shocked the whole community, uh, especially uh, New Mexico, and because uh, that's where she was from, and, and she performed a lot over there. But she was um, a war winner like crazy. Wow. You know, and she was just so young. Yeah. It, is like that. it is very sad. Yeah, so we are thankful that we are with her right very, now, yeah. you know, and uh, we send our condolences to everybody that, that knew her, and especially her family. And uh, I'm going to see if we have any questions here. But I didn't draw my iPad, and so I'm like, there it is. Okay. Okay. Etina, our friend, Etina, now that you changed your name, it's kind of like hard to, to know it's you, but... This is my friend. Uh, she says, good morning, Kayushis, and my beautiful friend. Thank you. Bertha Christine. Uh, hey, Gina, miss you guys. Miss you too, Bertha. <laughs> so yeah, I, I might have been her. Uh, 
Abby and Rosa, good morning. Saludos from Sunnyvale, California. Yeah. It might, you know, it's, it's really hot today. And yesterday was so hot here too. And then at a night time, oh no, what is it like? Then when it got like raining and oh, yelling. God, it and came like it was, a even you put a video. You yes, posted a video. I remember. So we'll see today what surprise we get. I think I should be a meteorologist. <laughs> you know, my mom says that they have probably the spinning wheel with like the clouds and stuff, and then they just go, oh, today is going to be, you know, the Yes, yeah, right? So, and and I think it's the only thing we could uh, definitely say, and it's always true, we're going to have sun in the morning, or daylight in the morning, or whatever, or and darkness at night. Yeah. Those are yeah, those are, yeah, definitely those are the good things that, that we for sure are going to have, so they should be saying that more often. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not that we're going to have, you know, rain and stuff like that. <laughs> Eva Tejada. Hello, friends. This is Eva. She's one of the organizers and the sponsors from the Latino Festival. Yes. You know, so she's uh, um, the owner also from the Comercio newspaper and also Casa Magazine. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. And the Cine del Parque. Uh, we had a Cine del Parque actually last uh, Wednesday, I believe. But it rained on us too, oh. so we had to cut the movie. So I'm sorry to everybody that was that showed up. It was so awesome too. It was yes. there were so many people, uh, and we were having so much fun. And boom, the rain just came. So this, this is Colorado. Is yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, we have the next uh, for the Latino Festival, but the following week. Uh, or seen in, in El Parque, so make sure that you go and check out the pages because we have all the dates in there and the places and the movie that we're going to be showing. Uh, Joe Flores, good morning, still. <laughs> good morning, Joe. Oh, my condolences about Ernestine. I know. Uh, and that is just a terrible tragedy. And that's what I'm saying. If you have domestic violence, you know, make sure that you always seek for help, you know. Yes. Are beautiful. I mean, even guys, they can suffer from domestic violence. You know, there is not true where, you know, your partner, wife, husband is saying to you that you're going to be lonely after they find somebody better. There's always an outlet. Yes. yes. So make sure you check that out. Uh, El Payaso. El Payaso. This is my friend, Daniel DJ Rock. Thank you for watching us. Uh, DJ Rock. Yeah. So we have no questions. Just, just saying hi and, uh, yeah, that's what we have. Abby Rosa, good morning, saludos. Oh, yeah, from San Miguel. Okay, yeah. So, anything else that you would like to tell our audience about the Mighty Nice Band or about any other festivals or places that you're going to be playing at? Well, you know, if you go onto my website, it kind of probably be a lot easier because I can mention so many places that you won't <laughs> remember. <laughs> but uh, if you go onto the Mighty Nice Band dot bravesites.com and I guess I can honestly say um, live life to the fullest and live each day as if it was the last. Well, did you have a Facebook page? We have, we're on Facebook page at the Mighty Nice Band Very on nice Facebook. Yes. Instagram? Uh, no, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know of. <laughs> I don't know. That's what <laughs> okay, well, that, that's where you guys also put your events on the uh, Mighty Nice Yes, Band and they have Facebook. a calendar and everything on there, past events, and there's family oriented, and uh, we have a tribute to a lot of the musicians that have passed away oh. here in, in Colorado. So we'll take a look at that, and you might know somebody in there and uh, give a tribute to them. And we gave a tribute to all the musicians here in Denver. Yeah, we have so many musicians, uh, local musicians, and like I said, I mean, so many people from New Mexico are here in Colorado, and they're yes. so talented, too, and a lot of people love the New Mexico music, you know, like, kind of like a text mix type of thing, and uh, uh, so make sure you check them out, and uh, traduciendo un poquito más de lo que estamos hablando, este, uh, Gino ha estado en este negocio ya por 25 años, él hizo su banda, The Mighty Nice Band, se llama, y está también en Facebook, y está el website de ellos, y está en más información, y también para contrataciones, ahí están los números de teléfono. Uh, pero hizo su banda porque él estaba ya cantando solo, entonces llegó el tiempo que le dijeron, necesitas traer a tus propios músicos, y este, para que no estén buscando con quién tocar, o con quién cantar, y este, fue que hizo él la banda, The Mighty Nice Band. Y, can you tell us the names of your uh, band members again? 
Well, there's uh, Holly Hoverson, keyboards. Uh, bass guitar is Jeremy of Um On guitar is uh, Robert Subibaka. On drums is uh, Jerry Arias. Oh, I pronounced that right? Arias. Arias, yeah. And uh, Richard uh, Martinez on trumpet and flute horn. And on uh, saxophone, we have uh, Greg Worthington. And uh, I'm Gino Rayel. Yeah, sí. Entonces ahí están todos, todos los integrantes de la, de la banda Mighty Nice Band que van a estar presentándose ahora el 20 de julio, que es el sábado que entra en el Latino, en el Festival Latino de Westminster, que está uh, localizado, bueno, van a ponerlo ahí en el, uh, la parada del tren, o en la estación del tren, que está en la 72 y algo así. Pero les, ahí está toda la información en el, en mi página de Facebook, ahí lo puse también porque vamos a estar también nosotros uh, en una de las, uh, templetes en el templete del karaoke así para que pasen a conocernos y a saludarnos y a estar con nosotros y Gino va a estar la presentación de él va a ser a las 3 de la tarde sí. uh, hasta qué hora uh, hasta las 4 y o las 5 4 o 5 así que sí, va a cantar creo. muchas canciones muchos, de, muchos. de 3 a 5 van a ser muchas canciones pero también tenemos muchos más este, invitados que van a estar ahí en el festival así que no se lo pueden perder y también este Gino ha estado en todos los festivales latinos desde que empezaron, que ya este es el cuarto año, así que muchas felicidades también a nuestra amiga Eva Tejada y también a nuestro amigo uh, Manuel, este, por todos los esfuerzos que están haciendo, es mucho trabajo Gracias, poner festivales, sí, y, y todo eso, así que les apreciamos que ustedes vayan y, y, y apoyen a todos los artistas locales. Um, también Gino nos estaba diciendo, él es de un pueblito así que se llama San Luis, y es uno de los pueblos más viejos, o es el pueblo más viejo de Colorado. Sí, sí. ¿Verdad? Es el sí, pueblo más bien. viejo de Colorado y está muy bonito. Yo he pasado por ahí varias veces. Y este, ahí fue donde él, este, creció en, uh, San Acacio. Obviamente. San Acacio. Ahí muy cerquita de, de San Luis, que viene siendo cinco millas. De, oh, sí, mía, sí. Cinco millas de, de San Luis está San Acacio, donde él creció y empezó a cantar. Y después, este, pues ya se vinieron para acá, para Denver. Um, ¿Qué más que pueden saber de él? Que es una persona muy humilde, sí. es una persona muy espiritual, como dice él, él ha ayudado a mucha gente porque es lo que a él le, lo hace sentir bien. La sonrisa de la gente es el mejor pago para él también, así que sigan sonriendo cuando vayan a ver este Mighty Night Band, este, sean felices, bailen y le pueden preguntar qué canción cante y si él no se la sabe, les dice, no me la sé, pero hay otra parecida. Sí, <risa> Así que, ya saben, este, alguna otra pregunta que tengan ustedes acerca de Mighty Nice Fans, si quieren lo tienen para contrataciones, y eso, este, ahí está la página del Facebook, o simplemente, este, mándenme un mensaje y nosotros se los hacemos llegar. Um, y otra vez, nuestras condolencias a la familia de Ernestín Romero, que uh, falleció hace unos días, una cantante muy famosa de Nuevo México, y muy joven también, creo que tenía 32 años, este, les deseamos que, que sean fuertes y que ojalá puedan pasar este, um, un poquito más fácil estos, estos días, este tiempo tan, tan, no puedo decir tan doloroso como quien dice, es, es más este, la tristeza que va a ser este, ya no tenerla uh, físicamente, pero... Pero va a estar en nuestros corazones, Ernestín, este, un abrazo hasta donde estés y este, gracias por todos los años que tienes aquí, dándonos la música y ahí te seguimos viendo. Este, well, I think that's all I have for today. Um, this will see you guys uh, next uh, Saturday, okay. July 20th at the Latino Festival in Westminster at the train station uh, that is located on 72nd and I forgot the other street, but you guys can go and find the information on any of our pages. I think it's on Grove, 72nd Grove. and Grove. Okay, 72nd and Grove. So, uh, I think they, they're going to see it. Yeah, you'll see it. You'll see a you'll lot of kids out there. And, yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> because it's supposed to be bigger than other years. So yes, that, it gets bigger be every year. year. Yeah. yeah, so make sure that you go and check them out. There's going to be all kinds of music, food. Uh, entertainment, uh, everything. So make sure you go and check it out. And then, uh, and then after this, if I don't see you on Saturday, I will see you here on Sunday. So, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Canciones Domingo, que you wishes the Rain TV station. Muchas gracias por estarnos acompañando. Asegúrense de vernos el 20 de julio, sábado que entra, uh, en el Festival Latino de Westminster, que va a estar localizado en la estación del tren de la 72 y yo. Ahí en Westminster, ahí lo van a ver, como estamos diciendo, se va, se va a ver, 
porque ya está haciéndose más grande, así que uh, pasen a saludarnos, vamos a estar en el templete del karaoke, y Gino, la presentación de Gino va a empezar a las 3 de la tarde, así que no se les olvide, va a estar cantando hasta las 4 o 5 más o menos, así que pueden ir a pedirle la canción que gusten, y él, como les digo, se las canta o les dice que no, no se la sabe. Este, pero va a haber muchas, muchas cosas, así que si no los veo el sábado que sea, nos vemos el domingo aquí en Canciones de Domingo. Y este, pues que tengan muy buena semana y nos vemos el sábado. Un besote. Gracias. Gracias. Y aquí en el aire seguimos con más música. Vamos a poner a Vicente Fernández con los, uno de sus nuevos, uh, nuevos estrenos. Uh, vamos a ver qué nos tiene aquí Vicente para nosotros. Gracias por estar sintonizando. KUHS, thank you so much. Uh, here on the air, we're going to start 